So today we're going to be talking about this film card right here just behind me. This is called the CineMech Film Card by Digital Photo. Now this comes in a few different sizes. There's a whole bunch of different attachments that you can actually have on this that we're actually going to be talking about today. There's a lot that we need to go through. I know this won't suit absolutely everyone because this thing is very expensive but for very good reason. When it comes to build quality, it's pure aluminium alloy. It's super solid. There's so much versatility, mounting points. Uh, the features on this thing is incredible packed but when it comes to the film cards and especially the ones that you're comparing this to this is probably one of the best ones if not the best one I've ever used so let's get into this video so one of the major things that I really appreciate this film card is that you can pretty much break it down really quickly. They've designed it where you can quickly pull it down and quickly bring it back up. Because I know a lot of film cards out there are literally just pure solid steel and that literally you can't pull it apart. You've got a van, you wheel it up to the van and that's pretty much it. Like you can still leave this fully built out if you really wanted to, uh, but it gives you the ability to pack it down nice and small. And then you've got a couple of clips as well that you can sort of clip onto it and the great thing is they've actually got these little suitcase roller wheels at the bottom with this handle so you can actually wheel it. But just the size and versatility that you can break it down to and then build it up, it just makes it so amazing. So now this particular model that I've got with me is called the MCSS. So this is the smallest of the three versions. It's 750 long by I think it's about 950 high and 500 wide. So this uh, is just enough for most of your smaller productions. Now, if you're trying to utilize this as a cart to move a whole bunch of gear around, you would probably go for the larger one. The larger one's 1.2 meters long, 1200 long, uh, which isn't quite double the size, but it's about one and a half times this size in terms of the length. So that's pretty significant, and you could probably carry a lot of gear on that in comparison to this smaller one. So let's talk about building this thing up. It is really quick to build up. There are two clips on either side that actually keep this top half actually together with the base. So literally just unclasp them right here, and then it lifts straight off. Now, once you've actually got that off, all you gotta do is lift this up, Tighten these two, very, very quick and easy to do. Now you can see how fast that actually is to do up. And then you literally put this top half on top of here and tighten it up. It is so quick to do and the exact same when you're actually packing it up. Now in terms of the payload, it really depends on which model you actually get, but you can actually have a maximum payload from 350 kilograms to 450 kilograms. I mean, that is incredibly heavy. There's not really much film gear that's gonna be weighing this thing down for that much. Like you literally could th fit three large human people on top of this and still not break it. That is the quality of this thing. And talking about quality, the wheels, wow. The wheels are incredible. There's nothing worse than seeing these little plastic crappy wheels that some of these carts actually have. These are massive wheels. The two of them on the front are a 360 degree rotation. So that's pretty much your turning wheels. And then the two back wheels are fixed locked wheels. So they pretty much are the ones that stay straight. And you've got the other two that sort of wheel it, steer it and all those kind of things. But you can put this through so many different terrains and that's what makes this thing extremely versatile and amazing for outdoor use. So not just indoor, in studios, but you can pretty much put this on a whole bunch of different surfaces like bitumen, concrete, gravel, uh, grass and maybe sand. I mean, you can still put it on sand, but I probably wouldn't trust a whole bunch of gear being on sand anyway. And obviously you've got, where is it? Right there. Now, yes, obviously, because it is a film cart, it could potentially roll away. These locking mechanisms at the wheelbase is very trustworthy and it locks directly into the rubber. So the harder the tire is, the obviously the harder it's going to lock directly into that tire and stop it from moving. And with those tires, they're pretty much just like wheelbarrow tires or bike tires. You can pretty much just get one of those bike pumps and pump up these wheels to whatever pressure you want. Now, the main one that you pretty much get out of the box is the top shelf and the bottom shelf. So it's very basic and you can build it out however you want, depending on obviously your production and your workflow. 
So the added step you can actually do when packing it up is taking the wheels off as well. And then you've got those little telescopic sort of suitcase wheels on the bottom. But what I've been doing recently is literally just leaving these big wheels on and putting it directly into my car just as is. It's perfectly fine. It just really depends on how you want to be able to pack this up. And it depends on your situation as well. Now, one of the cool features about the top shelf is that it has these little locking mechanisms, which you pretty much unlock and you can drop the side of the shelf. So if you're trying to dust it off or clean it out, you can drop the shelves, clean it off and then put it back up. Or if you just want that shelf to be, you know, pretty much dropped down and nice and smooth, then you can do that as well. It just really depends on how you use it, but it just gives you that versatility as well. And the quality of the locking system is just second to none. Now, one of the great versatilities when you're actually on set is actually having your director's monitor on here. So you can actually put a light stand directly through. There's three holes at the base of this top shelf that you can put a light stand all the way up and obviously put your director's monitor on top. But as you can see in the background here, I've got my director's monitor literally just sitting on there, which is perfectly fine. But it is better if it is raised. And then, you know, that could be for your first AC as well. So they literally can push this around wherever they want to get it in a nice comfortable position. And what I've been doing recently is I've got a couple of these little clamps that I put on the sides. Because there's so many mounting points, all I need to do is put a quarter 20 mount directly into these. And I can attach a light stand onto the side and put my monitor on the side, which gives me the ability to raise it up nice and high. And that is the versatility of having all these mounts is that I can put whatever different combination and whatever different mounts onto the side here to suit my workflow. So when it comes to this video production cart, we have to talk about the attachments that you can add onto this cart by itself. Like I said, it just comes with the top and the bottom and uh, you can add a whole bunch of attachments on here to suit your workflow. Now, when it comes to the added accessories that you can actually have on here with like a laptop mount, you can mount your camera on here as well if you have like a ball head. There are so many different other mounts that you can actually buy this, not just with Digital Photo brand, but you can actually go to other brands and mix it in with this because there's so many mounts on this body that you can pretty much adjust it to however you want. But I've just got the basic kit here but it just, you have so much flexibility in what you can do with this cart. Because there is literally like, I think it's over 250 different mounting points. Like there's quarter 20s everywhere, three eighths mounts everywhere with the RE locating pins as well. And you can see these sliding mounting points as well, which makes it super versatile. So anyway, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, obviously please give it a thumbs up. That would be absolutely amazing. The link will be in the description below if you do wanna check out this film cart, like I said, very expensive, but as you saw in this video, it is absolutely worth it. It is an incredible film cut and uh, yeah, highly recommended by me. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, let's get it.